Hello and welcome to our demonstration of a basic car wash circuit using state machine, uh, state machine technique. Um, the first thing we need to know is that the circles are the states and the arcs or curves are um, the transitions. These uh, chicken scratch scribbles right here are the inputs. I will explain them, they're a little bit unclear. And sorry about the sorry state of uh, states five and six, they're kind of scribbly, but uh, they're not really that important uh, to be neat, so, so we'll walk through it. Um, the first state we have here is state zero, and state zero is, is on, the, on the top there. It idles at off, and, and it will stay there while there's no token, or in other words, token not. When you put a token in, it will go to state one, and it will idle there, until you either put another token in or you push start so there you have that's token zero there token one here and after you put token one in um, it's gonna go to state two if you push start it's gonna go to the state where it rinses it and then goes back to turning off um, if you were to put a second token in it would go to a state two where it would idle there until you either press start or you put in a third token. Um, by pressing start, it would uh, rinse, then soap, then rinse again, and then idle as off. Where you put in a third token, it would uh, basically it won't receive any more tokens, so all it is waiting on is a start button. You push the start button, it will go to a state of four, where it will idle um, basically just um, until you press the start button. You press the start button, it will soap, uh, then it will rinse, and then it will dry, and then it will idle as off. Um, state machines aren't the most difficult things in the world. All you have to remember is the circles are the states. You can name them whatever the heck you want. Um, it's, it's always better to kind of have an order to things. Uh, these aren't in any particular order, so I just put S there. Um, and the arrows are just basically the transitionary period. And the inputs necessary are displayed to either on top of or to the right of or next to. Um, it's, it's very hard to keep these neat, so I would recommend doing it by computer sometime. But just remember that... Uh, it's very important to include all of the inputs that you can um, just to be completely clear to the naked eye to the person that's going to observe it. Um, here you can see that uh, in several parts um, there's a start knot and token knot and a this knot and you would think well that's kind of obvious like you don't need the knot but it's better to be clear than uh, it better be safe than sorry I guess uh, so I hope you understood the meaning of this uh, state machines and, and really the importance it has in representing a circuit and I hope you learned something from this. Any questions uh, just let me know in the comments and I'll try and monitor that. So thanks for watching and listening.